Hey, I'm Jesse. Hi, I'm Ed from Collective Soul, and you're watching us right here on 101.9 Kink in the Skype Live Studio. Right here in the Skype Live Studio. Thanks for coming out this afternoon. It's afternoon now. Oh, well, it's morning to us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anytime you before showtime. Yeah. Anytime before showtime is morning time. That's it. Coffee uh, time. First of all, uh, she said, how about that? It was like the hidden track on the dosage album. For reasons we don't know. Actually, it was supposed to be on our second, the self-titled uh, record. I had it forever, and we thought the guys loved it. We thought, there it is, you know. Yeah. And then I wrote a song called World I Know, and it kind of got moved, it got replaced with that song. Sure. And I thought, okay, well, it's still one of those songs that's special. You want to make sure you people hear it. And, of course, in our ultimate wisdom, we made it a hidden track. <laughs> Well, I remember during that tour, I went, I went to the show, and, and I knew it was a hidden track, and I was just like, they're going to play it. I know they're going to play it. And the friends I was with us was like, no, it's the hidden track. Why would they play that? And then you played it. And then you, you started <laughs> Once again, yeah. you know, we're publicly schooled from the state of Georgia. We have no idea what we're doing, you know? <laughs> True story. So, Ed, it's been six years since we've had a Collective Soul album. Right. That's the, that's the longest gap between, between material, yeah? It, for Collective Soul, we... Um, we needed a break. Three years ago, we actually went in the studio to try to record, and, um, you know, honestly, we just didn't like each other, so it kind of set the tone that we needed to take a break, seriously, and, you know, we had concentrated so much on Collective Soul for 16, 17 years, I think we really didn't have a chance to kind of develop as, you know, you got to th think the guys in the band are 10 years younger than me, Dean and uh, my brother and, and Will, you know, they were 20 years old when all this wackiness started, and they never really got to develop who they were as a person. What they, you know, it, it was just so much time consuming for Collective Soul. So with that break, you know, we met Jesse. I, I, we started a band called the Sweet Tea Project. So I, that's how I was introduced to Jesse, and then Johnny Rab became our new drummer. And when that happened, we started doing some shows, and they brought in such a great attitude and a kind of kick-started this again in because during that time we had time to sit back and realize what we had accomplished and be proud of it um, uh, not in an egotistical way but a, a confidence way and, and realize that you know we, we're a pretty good rock band <laughs> let's go yeah. let's, I, let's go uh, and then when Jesse and Johnny came in they were like you know you guys are a pretty good rock band let's just keep that going man so you know, a lot of credit due to Jesse and Johnny for uh, just kind of kickstarting this. Yeah, thing. and I guess to, the question to Jesse is, wh what's it like you being a younger guy coming in and being lead guitar guy with a band like Collective Soul? Is the pressure there? Uh, it wasn't for me because I'd known Ed for a while at this point. We'd worked together in the studio and stuff and with the Sweet Tea. I mean, there's always a little bit of pressure, but at the end of the day, you just kind of go in and do what you do. Don't really apologize about it and just rock. Either like it or you don't. So. Yeah. So the new album came out uh, in early October, See What You Started By Continuing, which sounds like that's kind of what you decided to do as a band. We did. We actually went back. Will actually pulled up old live tapes, uh, tapes, recordings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're 22 years old as a band. Um, <laughs> all the kids are like, what he say? Um, live recordings of the mid-90s when we were playing live, and you could hear the urgency, you could hear the fun, and just us just going for it. And we were like, let's go back there. Let's let's do that again. And that's what we strive for. And I think that's what people will, will hear when they listen to the album. It's, it is a so. collective soul album. Thank you. Yeah, it is. And Very proud of it. Are you, are, can we hear some music from the record? Yeah. Collective Soul here in the Skype Live studio. Yeah. 